in as much as I want the diaspora to come to Africa, you know, secure lands for themselves and for their family, um, start up their businesses, their infrastructural development, building of their houses and whatever they would like to use the land for. I also need to tell you and make you to be aware of scammers and how you can protect the land that you want to buy or the land that you have already bought in Africa. So that is the reason why I am making this video today. So if you're just coming new to the channel, my name is Nelson. I am a young YouTuber from Africa, Cameroon to be precise. I'm sure if you have if you have done your ancestral DNA, it might point you to Cameroon. All right. So this is your brother from Cameroon. So if you're coming new to the channel, I really appreciate if you could hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to join the family. All right. So now let's start with how you can protect the lands that you buy in Africa in order for you not to fall in the wrong hands. Now, the first protective measure that I have always been talking about when it concerns this issue is before you even want to come to Africa to buy a land for yourself and for your family, make sure you have created a connection. And what do I mean by create a connection? For example, if you are coming to Africa to buy a land, you must have chosen a particular country, be it Ghana, Cameroon, Nigeria, Kenya, whatsoever country you choose, make sure you create connection with somebody that is from that particular country and make sure that that person knows what he or she is doing when it concerns these land issues. That is the first thing that I have always been suggesting it to the diaspora because it is very, very dangerous. Maybe you just go move on to a country here in Africa and price a land. Maybe somebody just calls you and say, I'm selling land here and you just go ahead to proceed with the payment. No, it is very, very dangerous and risky. So make sure you create connection from somebody that is from that, that country, the particular city where the land is going to be bought. Make sure that that person knows the terrain of that city and that person knows the right place to um, seal the deal and make sure this one must not be excluded. Make sure you include law enforcement while making the deal when it concerns the land. That's another thing. Involve, if possible, if you if there is a means for you to involve a lawyer that is going to be there as witness, make sure you involve a lawyer or you can involve the law enforcement, the police, gendarme or whatsoever um, the law enforcement might be in that country, make sure you involve them into the issue before you proceed with the payments and the sealing of the deal. Okay. And another thing, if you have successfully bought the land, don't just leave it like that. Okay. If you have succeeded in buying the land, the first thing I would recommend for you to do in that land is even if you are you have not yet even if you are, you are not yet ready to maybe build something on the land, but make sure you put something like a fence, all right? Just create something like a fence, a foundation or something. Just allow it for the meantime. Okay, these are the secrets that I am telling you. Don't just buy the land and just you know allow it like like that for some time. Create something on the land like a foundation. You can build a fence, you know around the land that is going to be more secure so those were just some of the measures i said let me tell you all when it concerns buying of land in africa all right i'm going to be doing another video or more videos on the same topic so that's what i said let me share it with you guys today so thank you all for watching please if you're just coming new to the channel hit the subscribe button to join the family and i'm going to be seeing you guys on my next video and have a nice day